Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Yeah, my dad, walk on. What's going on, babe? We're trying to get to it. Yes, sir. So we got some very special guests in the house right now, man. Say, man, we got Black Card, Steve-O, and DJ Chose. What's going on, man? What up, what up? Man, it's good to have y'all, man. You did that thick song. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, you know, like, that's a that's a dope song. Appreciate you. So what, what inspired that? Um, The thick record, just quarantine, been in the house, missing the parties. You know what I'm saying? The schooling, the trick is... You got certain people that never went to school that was just born with sense. You feel mm -hmm. me? I'm one of them. Steve, I'm one of them. Yeah, yeah. And then you got some people who never had sense, so they need school. School is a great place to learn how to socially interact. Like when I went, I already knew how to talk, but it just helped me enhance my communication skills. You know, it's not everybody can walk up to ten thousand people and say, "Here go my CD." or Hick on my brand or look at these shirts, man. You might like like everybody. You know, it's a lot of people with businesses who scared to tell somebody. Man, Black Card Steve O, what's up, man? What's going on, man? Say, man, hey, man, you got a history, man. I, I, got, mean, a, I got a little history yeah, on Yeah, man, I seen you did some internship and all kind of stuff. I was yeah. listening and looking. I said, man, that cat really had to go through some things. I love the ones who really get in there, get out there and do it and pretty much would almost do it for free. Yeah, you know what shit. I'm saying? I, I, I did it for free. I ain't yeah. know almost. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of that, that's how like one thing turns into another, like a domino effect. So me working with Mr. Lee doing his drive in and stuff like that, he was working on a Boss Hog Outlaw C D yeah, at the yeah. time. Mm. And Slim Thug brother Ray Face was at the studio at Mr. Lee House one day. And Ray Face, uh, he looked at me, he was like, man, ain't you from the north side? I said, yeah. And he was like, man, Slim needs somebody to come record him tomorrow. Can you go to Slim House and record him real quick? And it's just like relationships just kind of keep building and yeah. doors opening because mm -hmm. of one step. You know man. what I mean? Let me ask y'all this. Top three artists of all time. I got to get it from both of y'all. It's a segment Ooh. I do. I've been doing it every okay, every Mr. Starry. Lee done nah, it. Man, his, list, his list don't count, but you can get him first. <laughs> no, no. Ooh. Top three. Number one. Nah, I, I ain't. Ooh. You got to do it. Right, we can boss off each other. Everybody. Everybody. That make it everybody. Easier. Uh, okay. I know. Pimp C is the Come on, Give it up. I'm for the cheek. Nah. I'm for the cheek. I'm trying to see who got the most ass on my phone. This is the first cheater. DJ Cho's coming in cheating on us. I want to be safe. I mean, I got my first two now. Okay, tell me your first two. Come on. Well, by default, Drake number three. Right. Hey, Drake's still number three. I already know who his number one is. Don't speak on it. Don't speak on it. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big shit. 